Good morning friends. We are with our seventh video in our VBOT tutorial series. So last time we learned how to make this robot with nodes, with robot node. Today we will integrate two distance sensor in front of this robot so that we can have obstacle avoidance using the distance sensor. So first of all, we will go in robot and inside the children, we will add a basic node named distance sensor and we will add a child shape which will be a box in our case. So we can see there's a big box we'll color this as zero blue in color and we'll do metalness zero so we get this box now we set our sensor to a position so in translation we will go 0 0.02 in x direction so it will be this side and we will go 0 0.1 forward in z direction so we can see that it's offset from the center and it's forward now Let's rotate our robot by some 10 degrees and note that always distance sensor gives a beam along its y, uh, x axis which is red in color. So we will need to have this axis in the front. So if we rotate it by 1.57, we see the axis has come back. So we'll do negative. So now axis in is in the front now we will do 1.5 so 90 minus 0.3 radians so it will be 1 2 so we see we have a sensor 0.3 radians offset to the z of robot now we will reduce the size of sensor to 0 0.01 in all the dimensions so that it so you can see this is our small sensor where so this if you see this is on the left side so we will name this distance sensor its name will be ds underscore left and in child we had shape so let's use this sh let's name the shape as sensor and we can have a bounding box of that sensor shape and we'll have normal physics okay now this is one sensor we will have a similar sensor so we can copy this sensor and paste it here so we have two sensors so in name we'll have this as a right sensor and we'll change the translation from plus to minus 0 0.22 so it came here and our rotation will be now in plus direction so it will be 1.27 so 90 degrees plus 0.3 plus 0.3 so it will be 1.87 yes so now we have sensors in correct position let's save this and now to make sure that our sensors are aligned correctly we can go in view we can go in optional render and 
distance sensors so if you can see these two lines that means your sensor is sensing in these area and the sensor is correctly placed so this was all about adding sensor on a robot thanks for watching the video and in next video we will learn how to add a control controller which uses a robot and the sensor data so that we can have obstacle avoidance node running and one more last thing if you want to change the range of sensor there is a lookup table here so in lookup table now we have our sensor ranging from 0.1 to 1000 so if i see if i don't have an obstacle in front of me it will give me a maximum reading of 1000 and minimum reading of 0.1 this can be changed so you can change the lookup table and scale the readings according to your wish so this was all about sensors see you soon do subscribe the channel and share it with your friends Thank you.